Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, January the 31st, 2021. It is currently 725 a.m. Central Time, and I'm coming to you live from Victory Baptist Church located right here in Ovalo, Texas. Now, I'm here because it's Sunday, so that means I I arrive way early because we are currently still only live streaming, no in-person services. So uh, next week, the goal for next week is to have a live Sunday school hour and a live morning worship service with people present. That is the goal. Our hospitals locally have dropped below that 15% threshold, and if it's if they stay below the 15% threshold for seven days, then we'll, we will return to at least some form of in-person uh, services starting next weekend. That is the goal. Please pray that that can happen because I'm ready to, uh, you know, come here to the church and actually preach and teach people who are sitting in the pew. I, I would really like to get back to in-person services. So, so that is the plan. But of course, those plans are subject to change based on what's happening in the local hospitals. That's that's the um, that's what we are using to make our decision. I'm looking at what's happening in the local hospitals. And when they're like, hey, we're overwhelmed, we, we're, we're over this threshold, we have no more ICU beds, please help us out. That's how I am making my decision to have an in-person service or not to have an in-person service. I'm not uh, getting involved in all of the conspiracy theories that the, you know about government and what the government tells me to do or not do. To me, that, that is irrelevant. It's what's happening in your local hospital. That's where you should be looking that's where you should be getting your information from. That's who you should be talking to because that's your community. That's that's the that's it's your local community where you need to demonstrate love for people. You need to do what you can and a sense to to love your neighbor, love your enemy, and try to be a good witness and testimony uh, for the name of Christ. So that's what we are going to base our decision on next week, and we will obviously well. For those who are members of Victory Baptist Church, obviously you'll be uh, you'll receive uh, emails, notifications through the Slack channel. Uh, you will, uh, you know, I will let you know what is going on. For those who are not members of Victory Baptist Church and you listen to us online, well, you're either going to hear me preaching uh, to a room full of people, or you're going to hear me uh, teaching the way you typically hear me teaching, which is here in this big empty building. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, uh, nobody, nobody's here. And I say big, empty building. It's not really that big a building. But when you're just sitting in here by yourself, then it's just like, hey, I'm, I'm talking to an empty room. But uh, we will see and we will keep you updated on that. But there is a developing situation which may greatly impact my ability to sit here behind this microphone, in front of this microphone, recording uh are doing live broadcasts. I don't really, I mean, they're recorded, but doing live broadcasts, producing episodes and doing teaching. And that situation is my wife has appendicitis and they, they, they were doing everything in their power to get her in Monday to remove the appendix, but uh, they are unable. So they're going to try to get her in on Tuesday. So she's going to go in, uh, again, appendicitis, and of course, we know what the concern is. The concern is for a ruptured appendix. That is the, the concern. So here is the situation. I'm currently here at church. Um, I'm going to keep checking in with her, and if she's like, hey, the pain's getting worse, it's getting worse, I need to get to the hospital, well, then obviously, I stop, I load everything up, I get back in the car, and I get home and get her to the hospital as fast as I can. We have one car. Where I broadcast from is about what about twenty minutes from the house. About about twenty minutes. I can probably get there in fifteen minutes if I need to. Uh, between fifteen and twenty minutes uh, to our house, and then from there to the hospital. Uh, the good thing is there, there's hospitals very, 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 very close to our house, like uh, about a mile from our house. So um, once I get to the house, then we're okay. Um, and then of course, once she goes in to get the appendix removed, then obviously. That will, you know, I won't be able to come out here and, and do any live broadcast. So there could be a delay. I wanted to just take the time this morning to give you that update. And the reason why that's where people aren't emailing me, asking me, hey, what's going on? When's the next episode? Hey, what's going on? How come you haven't recorded? Hey, how come you haven't been live on the air? And so I can just address it here right now. I let you know what's going on. And then I don't have to try to email everyone back. So that is the situation. 
My wife has appendicitis. They're going to take her in on Tuesday to remove the appendix. Right now, we are worried. Obviously, uh, we don't want a ruptured appendix to occur. And if that, if if anything like that happens, well, then obviously, I, then then this Sunday will could be completely. Uh, this Sunday could be completely uh, messed up uh, in, in my ability to do any teaching today. But I'm here this morning. I wanted to be here earlier than this, but I didn't quite make it. But I'm going to use the next, I don't know how many hours, to just start doing as much teaching um, as I possibly can, producing as many episodes as I possibly can. And that's where if I cannot do the teaching that I need to do today, there'll be plenty of things for people to choose from and they can listen. I'm going to try to do some Bible study exercises. Uh, we're going we're gonna to work on, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do as many things as I can. If, there's, if there is a theological question that you have right now, a Bible question, something you want me to, to address, email me. As soon as you can, newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. Obviously, um, if you do not know, if you're listening to me live on Spreaker, if you open the Spreaker app and you look at the program you're listening to, in fact, I'll open it up right now. Um, I'm opening up the Spreaker app. I'm going to Theology Central. I'm clicking on the program. Hang on, let me turn the volume down. I'm clicking on the program that's currently live, which is called Appendicitis. And if I click on that, um, I see the artwork that I'm using for this episode. I see the title, Appendicitis. I see the words Theology Central. And right under those words, Theology Central, you see some icons. Uh, One that looks like a book to bookmark, a heart to say that you like this. And then right in the middle is a chat icon. If you tap on that chat icon... You can start chatting with me right now. You can get, say hi. You can say hello. You can say, hey, can you cover this today? Hey, can you cover this? Hey, I've got this theological question. And you can just start chatting right there. You, anytime I'm live on the air, you can uh, ad- can address or uh, you know talk to me that way. So at, at any point today, if I am doing a live broadcast and there's something you want me to discuss, you can share it that way as well. And you don't even have to open your email uh, application. Uh, so that so that that's kind of what's going on. That's what I'm going to attempt to do. I'm going to do as much as I can, and hopefully, um, well, we'll just see what happens. So you can just pray about the entire situation. So most likely this week, there's going to be um, a, there there could be days that I'm not here able to come out here to do any recording, any live broadcast. So just uh, understand what is going on. My wife appendicitis. Tuesday, they go in to remove the appendix. Right now, we are concerned, obviously, if the pain gets worse, of a ruptured appendix. And if that happens, then obviously, I'll be taking her to the emergency room. That is the current situation. And I just wanted everyone to know. And one other situation to address. If you have emailed me and you have not received a reply, please email me back. I, 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 I've replied to a number of people but I've just got this feeling that either they didn't get the reply or they weren't happy with my reply because I didn't hear anything back. So if, 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 you got, if, you, uh, if you got the reply, wonderful. If you did not get the reply, check your, your spam folder. If it's not there, then just email me the original uh, email back and I will definitely respond as soon as I possibly can. All right. So I think, I think that's everything that is currently going on. So there you have it. I just wanted to take a few minutes to get this out of the way so that everyone knows what's going on. Everyone is informed. Everyone's on the same page. And uh, hopefully this this could impact Wednesday, doing any teaching on Wednesday. That's probably the big one it could impact. But hopefully by next Sunday, everything will be fine. And hopefully we can have in-person services. I I always say live services. We're always live because we live stream. But live in-person services Next Sunday, that is the goal for Sunday school and Sunday morning, as long as the local hospitals remain below the 15% threshold uh, with uh, COVID patients. That's the number to watch. Uh, the, the way it's designed is the, the hospitals have to remain below that threshold for seven days. That's when restrictions are typically lifted, and then you can go back to a lot of different things. Now, obviously, here in Texas, we don't have any restrictions on the church imposed by the government. We have, There's like an exemption for churches. However, we're trying to follow those guidelines as laid down by the medical community um, because we want to do what we can to show our love and concern, not only 
for our, our neighbors, uh, not only for even for our enemies, but just as uh, the church showing love and concern for each other. And of course, we don't want to do anything. Uh, we, well, we, we show that we care about life, that life is sacred, and we believe in the sanctity of life, and just trying to uh, conduct ourselves in a meaningful, godly, thoughtful way, um, not not demonstrating that we are more preoccupied with making a point or we're more worried about our rights or we're more worried um, about some conspiracy theory. So that that's how we're going to continue to operate and try to make the best decisions we can. I will keep you updated on that. And uh, well, if you have any questions or any thoughts, as always, feel free to email me and I'll do my best to get back to you. All right, we'll get that. This is done. We'll end this and then we'll come back and do some live teaching and uh, we'll just see where this morning takes us. We've got a lot of things to talk about. All right, thank you. Everyone have a great day. God bless.